Chess friends, welcome back to the grind. Okay, playing as white today. We're gonna play our usual opening, a London system. Bishop f4, followed up by pawn e3. Depending on what the opponent plays. I've kind of actually gotten into the habit of just playing pawn e3 always, no matter what. Yeah. He blocks in his uh, light square bishop here. Uh, Problematic for him. Something like that. I'm going to try to develop all my pieces as fast as I can. And I'm just going to trade off. There's a good old book move here. I don't really like playing the London system with the open h file. Um, I prefer to castle kingside, but this bishop g3 is just a reaction to bishop d6 from the opponent. So it kind of has to be played, more or less, unfortunately. I suppose there is always the option to take with the f pawn and then try to create the sort of open file for the rook. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see, like, if I castle here, he's probably going to take, and now I'm going to have sort of a worse-off situation. So, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Kind of want to get the knight out. I think at this point I'd actually rather put the knight on e5. I think this may actually just give me the option to castle kingside. And then I can threaten his uh, knight as well. I actually kind of like this move better. I know I haven't like finished development with c3 and d, uh, knight d2. But I just like the move better. He can't attack this knight any other way since he's blocked in with f6. Yeah, I actually like knight e5. Probably gonna go knight d2 next. Uh, is this Spain? Spain, yeah. I think knight e5 was the play here. I really don't like castle and queenside in the London system. I don't know. I just prefer not to do it. I like the kingside castle better for some reason. I like the kingside castle because I like getting the rook out onto the e-file. I think his rook e8 move was a little premature, but we'll see. Also, if he takes the knight here on e5 with his bishop, I'm curious what you guys think. Okay, so he wants to play that game. Hmm. Now, unfortunately, I can't really attack his queen this way. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess this is fine. I could still take with the F pawn and then still try to castle kingside. That is an idea. I also could just try to sack the bishop here at this point. That would be kind of fun. Um... It'd be kind of funny if I could attack his queen somehow. His queen is very trapped. Hmm. Man, I'm like... There's really no way to do that. I wonder how I could have done that. Yeah, I don't think I could have. 
Yeah, taking with the H pawn or the F pawn. That's the real question. Also, actually, didn't he just hang a knight? Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. He just hung a knight. Yeah, he totally hung the knight. I can't believe I didn't notice that. He hung the knight. Okay, sanity check. Okay, he's got h4 <laughs> and h3 protected. Okay, there's like zero reason not to take that. If he doesn't play g6, I believe this is just mate. He's going to have to play g6. Yeah, that was a really rough move from him. Yeah, okay, so he does play it. Uh, there is... Let's see. How are we going to abuse this? I think I have to fall back to... Something like, what is it? Okay, let's think if there's a mate here. Maybe h6? Honestly, maybe I just sack the bishop at this point. I think sacking the bishop is honestly the idea here. Or I could just sack the knight, too. No, do I want to sack the knight? No, I don't want to sack the knight. I think I kind of want to sack the bishop. Or I could just play normal chess and go back to f3. Play a little bit safer. I There's a line in the London system, I believe, where you get rid of the bishop. Um, but I think it's on h7. I don't think it's on g6. Um, but this is a move to next, and he's going to... um. He's going to kick the knight here, which is not great. But I still have just like such a big advantage already. It, yeah. Yeah, he's going to have to play f6. Yeah, f6. What else does he have? What other moves does he have? Okay, so he's just protecting f7 here. It's been unfortunate I can't attack that yet. Hmm. I'm trying to figure if I figure out if I have like some check and then takes this bishop or something but i think my best bet is just to play regular chess here and just not play dumb dumbly <laughs> hmm. my main problem right now is i don't love this square for the queen i kind of want to try to attack but yeah, I don't know. Castle or develop? That's that's my big debate here. So D2. I want to just get all my pieces out and finish development. See, I feel like he's going to have... F6 next. But I'm going to have to fall back to like G4 and then try to get onto like H6 or something like that. Which might be a possibility. Me too.
This may come back to hurt me, but I don't think it'll be the end of the world. Yeah, okay, so I kind of figured that. I saw that coming. I could try to, like, trade off queens here. See, the problem with his strategy right now is just he's really weakening his his castle. E4, pawn E4 is probably the next move. I do see a check, but... I don't know. It's really hard to just not want to trade off pieces here. Uh, since I have such, such an advantage at this point. Okay. So I do have... Mm, a check here. The problem is if I move, I wonder which way it's better to check. Do have check I just don't want I don't think I have another check to follow it up with though that's the problem and I don't like the queen being on the same file as his rook There's probably some mating pattern here. Um I just can't I just can't find it. Which is okay. So if he pushes F5, I mean I do have a check. I don't have a great way of protecting it though. That's the problem. You know, I'm just going to play a developing move. I don't want to get behind on development. And I need to fix this situation at some point. F6. You guys are probably watching this and finding the most optimal moves. <laughs> mm. Probably no reason not to take here. I'm just going to push. I have like so much firepower here. He's only had only has one pawn to defend. Yeah, h6. I just don't have a follow up though. That's the problem. And my pieces are getting a bit congested here, especially the queen. And the knight's not going to have Sort of any defenders. Okay. Well, so I can attack his queen and then also. Uh, I am going to lose a pawn here. Maybe that's not the end of the world, though. I'm just getting the knight out is better here. I know I'm losing a queen, but it's going to be so easy to defend 
Or I'm, I'm not losing a queen, I'm losing a pawn. And I can start going for the checks too. I think he should have taken the pawn. That's just me. Let's think about this. He's got one, two, three. I've got one, two, three. Ooh, he has like a really nasty fork here next move as well. So I think I have to go for something, right? Yeah, this is actually going to be a really nasty fork. I don't want to lose a knight this way. Maybe I just have to take this pawn at this point. Just think take, 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 take. So I will be losing a knight if I go in. So I have to, I have to reposition one of the knights. Mm -hmm. How valuable is this square? I'm doing really bad on time this game. Maybe we just trade a knight off or something. Mm, losing a pawn this way though. Maybe I just go for the check. Knight comes back and then I don't really have a great score to come back to. That's the problem. You know what? We'll see what happens. Just hope for the best here. You know, people don't like it when I play Hope Chest. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. And now I'm just kind of losing a knight unless I go protect it. Maybe that is the idea. I'm okay with this. This is better than getting forked, I feel. Okay. I do have a check here. He just takes, though. I don't want to lose this pawn. I know that's kind of a weak move, but... Hmm, where's that do? Hmm. And he has the fork next. Oh, he's winning a knight this way. 
That's a bit awkward. Yeah, so he just took a defender off of my my knight there. Ah, I I kind of had a feeling this this would get messy. Yeah, this is not looking the best. A uh, bit of a bummer, but oh well. Um, I wonder. I think Chief Four is the move. He can get the Rook out this way. Well, now let's think. He can get the. If he takes with the E pawn, I take his Queen. If he takes with this pawn, I can't really move over. Um, so I think. Hmm. Yeah, taking the pawn. I guess if he takes with the G pawn, I can take his knight. Hmm. I guess this isn't the end of the world. Hmm. It's kind of a fair trade, honestly. Yeah, if he takes with this pawn, I just take his queen. Okay. It's actually okay. This is fine. It'd be like A-OK -okay to trade off at this point, too. Could attack this knight, try to get the rook into the mix. Well, if I can get him to push this pawn, it would just be mate. Uh, this is not made anymore. You can always take that with the bishop. I have to play much faster here. That's my main problem right now. This breaks his pawn chain, which I think is good. I'm fine with this. I kind of want to just trade off. And this is good. This actually pins his... This actually pins his bishop. Or, uh, pins his bishop, yeah. If he takes, I take his queen. I know he gets a rook, but I get his queen. Mm. Maybe it's fine to just trade. I still think this is okay. Yeah, this is still fine. And I'm just going to protect my pieces here.
I just have to protect here. Yeah, he's looking for the back rank mate. Um, I think I'm just forced to move my queen back here. Takes, takes. Next move is probably going to be to just make an escape square for the king. I've been putting that off for a really long time. Okay, so he's probably going to want to double up here. I uh, imagine he's going to put his... Uh... Hmm. I think he's just going to put his rook here. Ew. Hmm, I'll attack his rook. Off for the trade. I know he's probably going to go g8. I'll just push up piece. No big deal. I can push up one more. My queen's defending here. But he does have two attackers there. Um, this is fine. All right. Can't I just add a defender here? Yeah, this is still okay. He's putting up a good fight. Oh, I hung a pawn there. I think he should have taken that. I'm going to go h1 and just unpin that piece. Also, if he takes, I believe it's just game. I do have a check here. Is it that good, though? I mean, getting a rook onto the seventh rank is, like, really good. Yeah, I'm hanging a pawn here. I don't know if he's noticed, but I think he should have just taken it to get, like, any advantage that he has. If he blocks in with the rook, I'll just take. Uh, if he goes here, I can just get my queen out uh, to c3. If he goes here, I also have options. I can probably block in with the rook, I imagine. I just can't lose on time. I just have to make a lot of moves and play fast. You can try to just trade off or just push up. Mm, that loses a rook. Hmm. Can I just check this way at this point? Isn't this good? Isn't he? No, wait. Boom. Takes. Takes. No, oh, Liz is a queen, right? I don't know how I'm gonna get the check here. I guess he's, I guess we're forced to trade queens off here, right? Hmm. 
kind of an interesting little staircase situation we had going on there. I think this is just better, right? Um, which way do we want to go? Probably hug the wall or something. Mm, losing a pawn here. Mm, I could check him. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, just lost the knight. Ah, oh, that feels really bad. Damn. That was a bad move. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's really unfortunate. I just lost the knight. I didn't need I didn't need to lose that knight. Uh if he for some reason doesn't take, yeah. Damn, I shouldn't have lost that night. That feels really bad. Just gonna try to gain some time here. Missing a pawn here. Maybe I just have to run my pawns up the board. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely misplayed that. Miss. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be down a pawn now. Yeah, I definitely misplayed. I mean, if he wants to trade this, I'm actually fine. I think I should just be winning the pawn race here, so. Hmm. Let's we'll see how this goes. I think he's promoting first. Damn. Maybe not. It's going to be close. Well. Can't do that. This is just mate. Oh man, it feels bad. It's going to be a bummer to lose this one, I'm not going to lie. Just having the advantage for so long and then just throwing it down the toilet would be a bummer. I mean, all I need is just like one really good skewer here. He's going to be looking to grab that pawn. I think anywhere he moves, I'm just willing to trade the queen off. And just promote another pawn. Yeah, I think that should be the winning move. Really lucky that this pawn is here. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's a really big blunder. Yeah, that's... Wow. That That's a huge blunder at the end. Uh, he... Wow. Yeah, he should have just traded off. It, yeah, I mean... In all honesty, it was still probably lost here. I mean, he could go... 
where could he go? Even here, the the pawn was still protected. Wow. Uh, I can't believe he blundered his queen at the end. That feels really bad. Man, I had such an advantage here. Well, okay. <laughs> well, GG either way. That that was a fun game. That was like a genuinely fun game. Okay, so we had a 78% accuracy versus 76. So really close. Three greats versus one great. One blunder versus two blunder. I think his first blunder was a knight move and his second blunder was not taking the the queen at the end there. And then 1350 versus 1250, so pretty good. Um, let me look at when he moved his knight. Yeah, big blunder there. So the advantage just went through the roof. Just trying to see if I made any really bad move in this position. This was a mistake. Knight h6, moving it back. Um, I saw the four coming. I knew that if I moved here, my only valid square coming back was still going to be g4. So, I don't know. I think I should have just, yeah, went back and just enjoyed my, uh, enjoyed my uh, sort of lead here at this point. Oh yeah, protecting this way. Wouldn't he just push with something else though? Queen e3. Hmm, I see. I don't want to look at that line too much. I'm mostly just curious like where the advantages were swung. Hmm, fell back to the wrong sp spot. I wanted to go d2 instead of c3 just so the pawns could connect at some point. That was the big idea there. This was a mistake. This allows the opponent to win material through a fork. Where was that? That's quite the continuation. I don't think I would have seen that. Yeah, so taking this pawn was the best move, yeah. It was an even trade, and then it really opened up his king side, so that was the idea there. Hmm, moving the knight. Okay. All decent moves here. Hmm. Is it moving the queen the be the better idea here? Since he had three attackers on g3, and moving the queen to f3 adds one more attacker. So he wouldn't have been able to overload or sort of over-attack this pawn. Whereas, I mean, I just want to play this out. I know the engine says it, but... Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter because... But still, couldn't he end up in this position? Like here, he's like, yeah, I guess even if he were to do that, he would just be so down on material. Mm, yeah. Okay, so knight of three was the idea here. Okay. So a little bit of a misplay. Knight e4, that was a good move. Kind of a fun series of events with this little staircase thing. <laughs> I've never had that happen in a game before. Uh... Big mistake here. Huge blunder. Yeah, I should have just protected the knight. I don't know what I was thinking. That was such a big mistake. Th this was the uh, just a horrible move. Yeah, rookie one was just very bad. I was just buying time here. Hmm. Getting onto the seventh rank and just eating up his gobbling up his pawns. Yeah, I probably should have done that. I'm not looking at every individual move, I'm just more curious about sort of the big ideas here. I guess the big ideas here was that I had the chance to just start knocking out his pawns since he hasn't moved any of his, or he hasn't moved these four starting pawns. So I probably could have taken at least two of them. Um, and since he was winning two pawns, I could have evened it out a little bit. Um, but... Fortunately, he gave me the trade. Yeah, I felt like in this position, I was just going to win since my pawns were just slightly more advanced than his, uh, especially the H pawn here.
Yeah, so I figured if I took his pawn first, I was imagining him getting his queen up and then, or his king up. Hmm. Oh, he would have been forced to fall back. Okay. Oh, then I could just promote. But even then... Ah, uh, so I'm promoting first here. Okay. But then he's getting a queen too. Okay, check. King f4. Okay. So it would have been quite a bit, bit, bit better here. Yeah. I had the check here, king f3. Didn't really have any more checks after that. Queen f5. Okay, king g3. g5. King f3. Hmm. Seems like it would have just been like a back and forth here. But mm -hmm. I like how it played out. <laughs> yeah, he made the inaccuracy here. I was just able to run my pawns up after that. And then there was just some misplays at the end. Getting the king out. Oh, blocking with the queen here was the idea? What? Queen g6. Doesn't this just lose a queen? I don't understand. I, I don't understand these engine moves. Why is king h8 so bad? It's like an even position. Queen b5, okay. Queen d8. Okay. Queen e6. Queen g8. Okay. Queen e7. Okay. Queen f7. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand the engine review there. Um, it seemed like it was putting me into a losing position to block a check. Oh, right, 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 right. Because I just win the pawn back. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So let me replay that. Ah, uh, and then the... Ah, uh, promotion is right there. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, that makes way more sense. I was failing to notice this pawn protecting a g6. Okay. Yeah. And then he blundered. Yeah, he should have just traded off. And sort of no matter where he went, I was uh, promoting again. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, good game. Um... Yeah, opponent blundered at the beginning, gave me a really big advantage, I maintained it, and then unfortunately threw it away, just played a really bad move here. Um, yeah, but uh, it happens. Ultimately, we were able to sort of find in another advantage and come back, and then uh, the opponent had another big advantage at the end, and then we were able to uh, sort of promote the pawns and find a win so yeah thanks everyone for watching and see you guys in the next game